Hi, I'm here with Ryan Singer, who is a designer for 37 Siglo, the rather world famous Chicago company. You're doing base camp and backpack and high rise and campfire. That's right, yeah. And have I forgotten any to do um, Yeah, some other small ones, yeah, but. Yeah. Um, and you just ha held an excellent session on design process, I must say. Uh, what excites you right now? What are you getting your. We have something new that a couple guys are working on, okay. 37 Signals. Yeah. Um, they haven't been publishing much about it yet, but uh, basically, um, it, over the last uh, five years or something like that, we've been figuring out a way of designers and developers collaborating on Rails. Okay. That has worked really well yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, and uh, it has a lot to do with how Rails is set up yeah. and how we can share code together and all these things. Yeah. Um, now we're interested in mobile apps. And uh, iPhone as a platform is not really appealing to us mm -hmm. because it's a very different world from the Unix world that we're used to working in for, for building our web apps. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, it's only one platform. We can't, it's not cross-platform, right? And Android is becoming more and more of a player, it seems. Yeah. So we're becoming interested in HTML5 and mm -hmm. in building apps um, exclusively in JavaScript okay. that stay on the device and then just sending data back and forth yeah. uh, to the server. Um, and what we found is that there is nothing in JavaScript like Rails. No. Uh-huh. So there's no um, so you're basically easy building way. A framework for so, so there's been some work recently that a couple of the guys have been doing at 37 Signals, um, a couple of our JavaScript wizards, making something that is like Rails but built out of JavaScript. Okay. And they're also working with uh, CoffeeScript, which is a new uh, layer on top of JavaScript that makes it feel like Ruby more, yeah. actually. And, um, and especially something that's interesting for me is that the templates in this JavaScript thing feel just like templates in Rails. So uh -huh. the designers are completely at home loading up the source code, changing the design of the templates, and then they can locally have the app running and they can re see it on their phone or see it on the simulator on their screen. So it's been really interesting for us to port our development and design process from the framework that we're completely comfortable and at home with yeah. to a new framework because it makes us realize what is actually important about the way we were doing yeah, things, yeah. right? It's not how much of it is just kind of tradition going on, yeah, right? And yeah. how much of it is really has a reason behind it. Yeah. And it's been really exciting to see some of the reasons and to see what's necessary in this new JavaScript framework. So, we yeah. can you see a new JavaScript framework from 37 Singles? I hope so. Yeah. We'll see. And you I, have hope, any... I hope the guys don't mind that I come here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were just working on yeah. it when I left yeah. for this trip to Europe. And uh, it's very early, but they did release the templating part of it. It's okay. called Echo, E-C-O, and yeah. it's on GitHub. Um, and uh, I hope they don't mind that I come here and I'm so excited about, oh, they're doing this cool JavaScript thing, and then, you know, so I hope they don't feel like, oh, but it's not, you know, but we'll, uh, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but it's, um, I'm, I, I, either way, we're definitely learning a lot, yeah. and uh, I hope also that what we learn we can share. Uh, do you have any... Web services or companies you are really excited about now, um, outside your own? Uh, you know, I, actually, I see so many good things that I haven't been keeping track. Yeah. Actually, I think there's a lot of good work. Yeah. Out there. Yeah. Do you see any de definite trend right now? Mm. Everything HTML5 or. <laughs> yeah, people are very excited about yeah. iPhones, but I think that the HTML5 mobile is going to be a more important trend, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I look around at many many of my friends, and I see who friends who aren't web nerds, yeah. and, uh, and I see they have Android phones, and they're perfectly happy. Mm -hmm. So this thing with building a separate app for the iPhone and a separate app for Android yeah. isn't going to go well. No. So I think this is interesting. Thank yeah. you yeah. so much. Cool, thanks. Bye-bye.